Hello there. All right. What are we working on today, Brandon? Logo. We're turning uh, Brandon's hand sketch into an Adobe Photoshop masterpiece. So hold on to your britches. We're going to get started. All right. First thing you want to do is go ahead and get to your scanner, and we're going to get through it at, through Paint, File from Skinner. Already got the hand sketch loaded on the Skinner and we're going to scan. Okay, once the scan is finished, do we have all all the sketches? Brian? Sorry. Um, so we got all the three sketches in and they appear to be upside down so we're gonna file flip rotate and we're gonna do how many degrees Brian? 180 good and we're gonna save that file as a JPEG and we're gonna save it in my pictures that's fine we wanna save it as a JPEG extension and we're gonna label it what what's a, what what kind of logo though CM isn't it E squared? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright, so CME2. That's what we're going to do. That's a logical name for the file. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and open Adobe Photoshop now. We can close out of this. And let's go ahead and get to Adobe Image. Adobe Photoshop. There it is. Okay, once you got it open. Okay, we're gonna do a file new. I'm gonna name this thing logo. Okay, we're gonna do let's start with a custom. Okay, we need to set how big this thing is gonna be. So do we wanna set it for a t-shirt yes. dimensions? So what would those dimensions be? Okay, so we got we scanned in how many different logos? Three logos, and which one are we gonna work on first? For the T-shirt. Along the chest. Okay, so about what size would that be? Three by three. Okay, three by three. So we're gonna three width, three height, and we're gonna do a higher resolution. Um, if you're doing graphics on a T-shirt, mostly you want 300 dots per inch pixels, and uh, that'll be. And you want to make sure it's color, white background. There it is. All right. Now we got our working space. We're going to go ahead and load this. File open. My pictures. Open that up. Okay. Great. So which one is the 3x3? Three three? Okay, this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that specifically out. Alright. Let's go ahead and start a new one. We'll get it just low. let's call it logo two. Same information. Okay, that'll allow us to transfer. We use this magic wand. Make sure the tolerance is as high as it goes. I believe it's 255. And we will go ahead and select. Make sure. inverse so let's see what happens when we transfer all right you want to go ahead and back that up a little bit because I just messed up back at this screen you want to go ahead and hit the magic wand button again make sure your tolerance is 125 you can zoom in by holding control plus control plus Sick, uh, select your dark area. You can zoom out again. Control minus. And that's what you want to go ahead and transfer to your new document. Get your paint bucket out. If you select the if you select right click on the paint bucket gradient tool, you can select paint bucket. 
We're going to use black for layer 1. Make sure layer 1 is selected. Black is selected. Your paint bucket is selected. You should be able to go in and turn everything to black. Okay, he sketched, if you notice, his sketches were in, were in pen. He should have used a dark black permanent marker. That would have um, allowed each area to be filled in completely with black. Okay, and if you switch the background, you can change your background color. So we're going to do any color you want. Okay, I'm just going to pick a random color. Make sure paint bu bucket selected, your blue color or whatever color you want, and your background selected, and then you just click on the background. You can change the background color, so you can mess with that to your likings. I'm going to go back and change the layer 1 to white. Paint bucket, layer 1 selected. Change that to white, and then I'm going to change the background to black. Background selected, color selected, paint bucket selected. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Alright, now let me show you some blending options. Go to your layer one, right click, blending options. Okay, this is where you can play around and see what you like. If we want to put, I guess you can't see the drop shadow. Okay, try inner shadow. Okay, there's some different options there. Choke. Noise. Opacity. Let's see what outer glow does. Mm. Inner glow. Bevel and emboss. All sorts of options. Just I mean, you can play with this literally for hours. Okay, let's try. Just satin all about. Color overlay. You can change the colors from this to. I think you can really see a pattern. Yeah. This stroke can really enhance your
as you can see, you can just constantly play around with it to your to what you like. What's most marketable? I'm real tired. I'm gonna go take a nap.